A binge pipe main menu screen offers a little something for everyone. Binge Pipe is a streaming service with all your favorites, such as the reboot of the classic game You Don't Know Jack and... Did we mention You Don't Know Jack? We are definitely real. Ugh. What's the matter, Mark? I'm trying to find my blood type, but these medical forms are just so complicated. Oh, Mark, you silly idiot. You don't have to understand forms anymore. I don't? No! Just send all your information to BingePipe, and they'll find the answers for you. They can do that? Sure. Thanks to BingePipe's customer vault, I can send them my medical history, credit card details, voting record, deepest fears, food allergies, romantic preferences, and lucky numbers, and they'll sort through it to find the data I need and keep the leftover details for themselves. Wow. Wow, that sounds great. Looks like I won't need this paperwork. And with the extra time, we can get dinner. Do you like burritos? I don't know. I'll have to ask Binge Pipe. The following Binge Pipe content is sponsored by Mystaxis, the number one over-the-counter medication that prevents nosebleeds caused by telekinesis. If you want peace of mind while moving pieces with your mind, then Mystaxis is right for you. Objection! Your Honor, this witness is clearly just a tugboat in a trench coat. I've just fallen down the stairs, but I feel great. When I joined the religion, I was really hoping it was a cult, but later I figured out it was all on the up and up and not a cult at all. So I left. I've made a lot of money in my life, and I've made it all in the last 24 hours. I can show you how. You can play as an audience member and have an impact on the game. Like someone who objects at a wedding. Our family has been in the business of trees for what seems like forever. My father had it passed down from his father as many generations as there are well. <laughs> rings on this here tree. Now it's up to me, the first woman in our family, to take on the responsibility of overseeing the business and appeasing the bloodthirsty and vengeful tree gods with the unreasonable sacrifices they demand and to promise to never talk about the bodies. All while raising a family in these here woods. Special Agent Benson is used to working under pressure. Two minutes and counting, Benson. Piece of cake. Let's rock and roll. But he's about to face his greatest challenge. No, I was afraid of that. What's wrong? Autofill is using my old address. Looks like I'll have to enter this manually. Find out what happens when the world's best agent tries to order concert tickets. Is the stop sign technically in the square? Ten seconds. It looks Nine. like there's a sliver of the sign in this. Seven. It's too hard to six, tell. Five. Four, that square's gotta count, three, right? Right? Two, one. Go. Wow. Ryan Hannigan stars in The Checkout, streaming now exclusively on Binge Pipe. This is taking longer than expected. Just kidding. We prepare for everything. Everything. I like being able to stream movies day or night, and I don't mind a lot of buffering during peak hours. I'm a Spencer. Yeah, that's my name. I think I'm a ghost. We are Binge Pipe! There is no bottom to Binge Pipe's content pit. Here's something else to fall for. ba -doo -doo, just cleaning out my fingernails. ba -doo. Introducing America's Secret Singers. Sandwich, I got a pastrami sandwich. A singing competition show composed entirely of videos of people who didn't know their webcams were on. Where's the stamps? 
Bum bum bum. My bills are overdue. The singer with the most online votes will receive ten thousand dollars, and they'll never know why. My arms are so hairy. My arms are so hairy. My arms are so hairy, but my legs are smooth. <laughs> Hey kids, do you know what it means to be a friend? Yeah! Do you know what it means to be in the friend zone? I mean, seriously, look at these texts. I, I don't get it. This week on Captain Fun Time's World of Hard Adult Lessons. Then we'll talk about the spooky world of ghosting a relationship. Binge Pipe is a streaming service that will not steal your pets. We're not saying other streaming services will, but we're the only one that's promised we won't. Hi, I'm Austin Creed, and I've got a brand new show on Binge Pipe called Hat Chat. Each episode, I travel to a different exotic spot in this great big world of ours, meeting amazing people, and we just talk hats. Take a listen. So this is uh, St. Remix Cathedral. It's more than 400 years old, making it the oldest still standing cathedral in the area. Wow! And what kind of hat is that? Oh, this? Oh, this is just my Milwaukee Brewers hat. I'm a big fan. So a baseball hat then? Yep. Amazing. That's Hat Chat. Only on Binge Pipe. Welcome back to the next Sound Effects star. Up next is Randall Smith, a contestant who has a powerful story about redemption. My name is Randall Smith, and when I was four years old, my dad got killed by a cartoon character wielding a giant mallet. I was in the other room at the time and heard everything. From that point on, I decided to dedicate my life to turning sound effects into a positive force. And here to present a piece he calls an alpaca making love to a fax machine is Randall Smith. This is for you, Dad. <laughs> Judges, what do you think? I love what you're about, man, but I didn't quite feel that. The fax machine sounded more like a printer to me. Oh, okay, thank you. Randall, I love how inspiring your story is, but I have to agree. That sounded more like an alpaca having sex with a printer more than it did an alpaca making love to a fax machine. I'm out. I disagree, but thanks. These guys don't know what they're talking about. That really worked for me. You really took me there. It felt like I was actually watching an alpaca going to town on a fax machine. I'm in. Congrats, Randall. We'll see you next week. Now, here performing a piece she calls a wolf man farting in a bathtub is Alice Berry. <laughs> While we wait for players to join, why not pour yourself your favorite drink and hold it in front of the screen so that we can see if our targeted advertising is working. Do you binge pipe? Honey, you should say that. Why? Because of words. <laughs> <laughs> binge pipe. We don't understand either. Binge pipe content is like glitter. You'll never be rid of it. Here's more. So everyone has disappeared? More like so half the population so of Earth? That we know to, of, yes. But to, everything is different now because we're, uh, so we're in space? Idea of it. Unclear. Like uh, quick game. Is this a flashback? Also unclear. Uh, but we oh, definitely have to defuse this bomb, right? So that part seems obvious. I mean... Uh, I'm just making sure we're on the same page here. Yeah, gonna, this fall game so on the exposition. The and are we related? All right, started. <laughs> Binge Pipe is honored to be the new home of You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, no, you're a shell company. Hi, I'm 
Cookie, I'll be doing the parts of the game everyone talks over. There's some really funny parts in there, by the way. I'm just saying, I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want. Well, smells like everyone is here. Okay, what are we waiting for? Time for question one. First up, allegedly delicious. No one can get you out of a jam like a lawyer, especially in a foreign country. If you want to toast your Spanish lawyer, what are you ordering? Avocado toast, abogado toast, arregado toast, or a bogota toast? <laughs> Let's see who got it. No, but it totally seems like it should be that, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> Just me? <laughs> Abogado is Spanish for lawyer, so that's what you'll be ordering. Oh. Toast is not actually Spanish for toast. Tiny spreadable lawyer not included. Any lawyer present may not be green. Trying to put a lawyer onto toasted bread may result in civil liabilities and up to 98 years in prison. Hallelujah, Here we have walking into. Oh God, no! Walking, oh God! Oh God. Oh gross. Walking into I just, spider I just webs. walked into a spider web, <laughs> and it's everywhere. It's on my face. Ah! Approximately what percentage of the over forty thousand species of spiders are deadly to humans? Twenty-five percent, ten percent, one percent, or less than one tenth of one percent? Let's see how that shook out. Um, really? <laughs> less than 30 or less than one tenth of one percent out of more than 43,000 different species of spiders is thought to be capable of killing a human. Oh, nice. Just yeah, got that one. It just takes one, you know? So I gotta, I gotta wash my everything. <laughs> Where it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Why do we do it? Here's one for you, Fieri Fedora Frenzy. And grab your passport to Flavortown because oh, it's a Oh, make sure you guys dad. take your drinks for answering the questions wrong. I'm gonna read seven things. For each one, you tell me if it's a ska band or one of celebrity chef Guy Fieri's signature dishes. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between ska or Guy Fieri. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Okay, let's do it. Trash can nachos. Real big fish. Cherry poppin' daddies. But I wouldn't drink anyway. <laughs> Holy Haluska. But I want to drink it. <laughs> oh, I thought it was That's bad more beef, bad boy. <laughs> Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. I have a feeling that's guy for I don't know why I picked it off for. It's like a uh, human I pyramid of failure. I'm so mad. But you all, you really dropped the ball. Proactive measures have been enacted for customer <laughs> fidelity. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's oh, right. Oh, God, baby. it's screw time, Using baby. Using a screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. So as the rule stands, in if you screw somebody... should have had you sign a waiver before handing over sharp objects. They have to take one drink, but if they guess it right, you have to take two drinks. So... Make sure you screw it and screw them and they don't know the answer. <laughs> Let's try dead white guys. That's racist. Which of these dead white guys is the deadest white guy? Napoleon, Claude Monet, Thomas Jefferson, or Fyodor Dostoevsky? Uh, the deadest white guy. OK, 
Okay, who chose what? Napoleon died in 1821, Jefferson died in 1826, Dostoevsky in the 1880s, and Monet in the 1920s. So Napoleon is the deadest white guy. Yeah, he's the oldest one there. But the whitest dead guy? That's gotta be Monet. That motherfucker is so white, when there's a blizzard, people are like, what's the weather outside like? Monet is blocking the view. <laughs> I love their commentary. Feast your eyes upon this. Shy town <laughs> If Chance the Rapper got a job in statistics, what would be his new moniker? Chance the Registrar, Chance the Cartographer, Chance the Actuary, or Chance the Compliance Manager? Okay, let's take a look. Chance the Rapper does so much for all of us, and you can't even get his trivia question right. <laughs> An actuary uses statistics to assess risk for financial investments. Finally, a game that combines Chance the Rapper with all the hip excitement of statistical risk assessments. This game is going to make a billion dollars. Round one is history. Yeah, it's like hey, two voice. seconds. There's what nothing data I can do have about that la the lag. Currently, player four is in the lead. Uh oh, Jasmine's in first place. Speaking of the exact opposite of that, these players are making everyone feel bad. The data <laughs> we have acquired demonstrates a need for more screws. Round two screws screw even harder. And Sarah you'll and more are making everybody look bad. That answers wrong, so don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. <laughs> oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. This is a real party now. I have no interest Oh, here's a good one. Broad appeal. If Ilana and Abby from Broad City befriended a queen from India, what should be their new catchphrase? Yas Khan, Yasimir, Yasrani, or Yas Sultan? So who got it? Uh, I well, thought it was Sultan because so of one, India. So, um, let's just move on with our lives. Ronnie is Hindi for queen. Oh. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hey, question. The algorithm demands your input. Would you like a question where everything is spelled correctly, or a question where everything is spelled incorrectly? Choose on your devices now. I'm going with everything is spelled incorrectly. <laughs> oh, it's 50-50? Well, that was a waste of time. Binge Pipe will choose for you. Aww. Everything is spelled correctly. This one's called... A question where everything is spelled oh, okay. incorrectly. incorrectly. Okay. In which movie does everything get destroyed at the end? The Road, Doctor Strangelove, I Am Legend, or One Direction, This Is Us. <laughs> Everything gets destroyed at the end. Yeah, I've seen all these movies. <laughs> Hope you I like don't know, you words, like I don't know. <laughs> In the final scene of this Stanley Kubrick film, the Earth gets bombed to smithereens. Yeah, because I watched Doctor Strange. And don't even and ask at the me end to of the spell movie, everything got destroyed. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Why not try the literary Nick Cannon? Yeah, like the, the Which Marvel. Which of these yeah. insults would you not hear on the MTV show Oscar Wilde and Out? Dorian is so old, his portrait grows wrinkles. They call you Ernest because you don't exist. As a husband, Sir Robert is less than ideal. Or what is this, Torvald? A house for dolls? What is not an insult you would hear on MTV? I love this part. 
The rest of these answers reference works written by Oscar Wilde, except for the right answer, which this uh, isn't because An Ideal Husband is an Oscar Wilde play. Nice. More like the importance of being wrong. Torvald is the male protagonist of A Doll's House, which was written by Henrik Ibsen, not Oscar Wilde. Uh, damn, no one got that right. And I thought it was C or D. about your mother, it would have to be a blow-up doll. Oh, I got that right. I thought I got it wrong for some reason. How about this one? Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein? It's monster. As of 2017, Finish the subject of the right most back. expensive TV show ever made. Octopus, Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? The subject of the most expensive TV show ever made. So what'd you pick? Netflix's The Crown, about the life of Queen Elizabeth, costs $130 million per season, making it the most expensive show wow. ever produced. that's crazy. You know, for half that, I can make you a decent show about a Frankenstein a octopus. Episode? That's a lot. <laughs> Coming up, need yeah. for more subscribers to fund Sistine Chapel. If Michelangelo had a Patreon page, which user would be subscribed? Pope John 007, Leonardo da Vinci is the bestie, Medici family official, or the real Vespucci? What'd you guys pick? Bad job. Bad job. <laughs> the Medici family ruled Florence and were some of Michelangelo's biggest patrons. Oh, nice. Patreon makes it so simple to support the artists I love. Actually, like, I thought the the, I thought it was I B. actually love, but like my friend from college who started a music blog, I never read. Oh, oh. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The Avengers. faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Saying the right thing in any language. Try not to embarrass yourself multilingually. Good luck. Oh God. Namaste. Oh, 
hello and goodbye. Player four takes Ooh. it. I gotta hand it to you, Player 4. You were averagely better than your competition. So, even though you're a winner... <laughs> you don't know Jack! Binge Pipe is more than a streaming service, and it's also less than a streaming service. Because we're not a streaming service. <laughs> or are we? Yes, we aren't. Do you guys want to play this game again or want to switch the game? Binge Pipe is revolutionizing main menu screens. Found another bottle. <laughs> So we have You Don't Know Jack, Split the Room, Madverse. Zeppel Dome and Patiently Stupid. Or Patently Stupid. I gotta pour myself another drink though. You don't mind what game? Jeez. I didn't say nothing. Everybody, please make sure you're sharing the outlets. Other people need to plug in their laptops to write Drummer their screen. I hate my neighbors. 312 945 I have three coffees for Mr. T, four teas for Mr. Three, and 40 pho trees for the gentleman in the back doing a vaudeville <laughs> routine. So, I don't know if I can even hold that. I think I would drive myself crazy. You almost did what? The fuck did you just say? <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> that is not an excuse. A half full for the optimist, a half empty mocha latte for the pessimist, no. <laughs> and a blueberry scone representing isolation for the surrealist. Oh, Jess has to BRB. My hair is short. My hair, believe it or not, my hair, I used to actually have my hair all the way down to, like, the back of my knees. Yeah. Like, it was, like, if I had it braided, it would be down all the way past, like, my ass and by, like, my knees. I've got a shot of rye whiskey for it's Roscoe. No. I didn't even know we sold that. A shot of rye whiskey for Roscoe. It's <laughs> you you try to figure out good enough for zero or no. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true.
That's gonna be the new catchphrase. Every time I log in, screw you, Steve, instead of hello or good morning, it's screw you, Steve. <laughs> Cold brew for Anthony. Cold brew for Anthony. <laughs> so I've actually never played this before, so I'm pretty interested to see how it's going to go. I, I think I logged off with like 490 stamina. Oh, Jess is back. Are you guys ready? Chai tea for Frank. Chai tea for Frank. Hello, welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is yep, my that's what I do. And I used to, I used to save my uh, my stamina up for like when I did the marriage stuff. That's right, Lena. So. I look at the six of you and I'm jealous. Jealous because your wallets are about to explode. Great. You get an so additional now that the 50, doors are yeah. Securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. How are we going to make you rich? Simple. By unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. And as Lena said, the doors are securely locked. Kicking them can only injure you. Everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. That's right, Lena. And to identify those Can't big find problems, my cup, so we'll just need to do something from we the call bottle. market research. <laughs> On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. And voila, you my created a problem. Now your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative Oh, it's a fill-in-the-blank, okay. So let's get to it. Repeat the prompts that have been sent to your device. You post That's that, post, you, look, you look at your screen and then you answer the, the blanks that on your screen. Try drawing with your eyes closed but your heart open. This game I have a feeling is going to become really inappropriate very fast. <laughs> Gonna move on, time's almost up. Now look at your device. You've got somebody else's problems. Been there. Simply pick the one you want to solve. Fantastic. Now no, you're it's supposed time to pick one you're supposed to solve that problem. That's right. This is when ideas become reality using nothing but a pen and paper. Yeah. Well, we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. <laughs> and remember, color is your friend. <laughs> Let's see. Half your time. Okay. 
Uh, let's tell her to get on so we can all so she can join in the fun. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Okay, let's wrap those drawings up. There's a lot of work. You are all naturals. I was just gonna say that. Okay, so now let's bring it all home. Give it a title. And a snazzy tagline. Something that makes people say, take all my money, take it right now. Let's go. Yeah, we can hear you. Hi. Yeah, the stream's up already if you want to come look at the, watch the stream and join too. We're halfway there. We have Jess, we have Word, Sarah, Jasmine, or... Yeah. Not to rush you, but the clock's a ticking. Three people that now, didn't each answer. of you will present your creation with our amazing presentation tool. Really sell yourself, too. This is no time to be shy. Exactly, Lena. Now, let's see those inventions. Oh, there we go. Sarah gets to pick her first, the first option. Stand clear and watch us work. Hey, Toby. It looks like you have a problem. You bet I do, Lena. I hate talking during this. That's a <laughs> I doozy. hate talking during well, my life. Well, I got just the thing for you. <laughs> it's just a little thing called... Oh, yeah, that sounds Who great. But what does it look like? Glad you asked. Point your peepers at this. Picasso couldn't have drawn it better himself. This looks great, Lena, but without a tagline, I'm afraid I just won't remember it. Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. Soon every billboard will read this. Yes! Don't talk it to sure me. will. And that's how it's done, everybody. Sam. My friends are too busy with their drinking. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> Good fucking luck figuring out. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. It's time for Jess. I keep landing in jail for this. Well, I keep getting I arrested for cow it's tipping. <laughs> Show me more. Well, looky here. It's practically making love to my eyes. And what scene. is going on? <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> oh god. I am always getting stuck with this. Well, I've got a solution. I'd like to call it. Let's see that drawing. Take a look. That'll catch your eye. But it's all poopy without a tagline. Get ready. And scene.
Uh oh, it's time for jazz. Did your birthday just happen? I 100% always forget this. Well, I've I got you covered. Just call it. I'm geeking out. Let's Existential see it. Crisis. Ready? Take a look. Whoa, that's amazing. And that's how it's done, everybody. Uh oh, time for word. I hate shopping because of this. Well, I've got a solution. I call it. Okay, I'm hooked. Take Three. a gander. Nice and what? scene. Where didn't even try. <laughs> He's kind of scribbled over the napkin. Great job, everyone. Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. <laughs> Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your second largest to your second favorite, and so on. Got all that? Good. Let's go. Okay, invest $500 on your favorite. We're halfway there. <laughs> All right, we can play it again. <laughs> Tick tock, time's running out. Great! Now let's see which inventions drove people wild. You'll need to acquire $1,000 in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a $500 funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Maybe next time. <laughs> So sad. Oh, Jess is in first. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Was that Sarah that got the 2500? Yeah. Good job. Sorry, Charlie. That's it. Okay, for the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of solving all different problems, solve the you same all problem. tackle the same problem. Oh. We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. Yeah, there's another and round. The honor yeah. of choosing that right, final so problem research. goes to. You simply select the problem you want everyone to solve. Uh oh, Sarah chooses the market research, or Sam. Good choice. Okay, you all know the drill. My vacations are always ruined by mothers. <laughs> Let's draw.
Oh, drawing time's almost done. Okay, time for titles and taglines. Should be halfway done. My drawing wasn't done. Oh no. It's like shoot. <laughs> shut. Mine look like shit there. Don't worry. <laughs> This is your last chance to impress, so don't hold anything back. Oh god, here we go. Jess is first. My vacations are always getting ruined by this. Well, I've got the solution. It's called... Beer back, more drinks. You've got my interest tingling. Running away from Well, mom. take a look, <laughs> silly. You don't get that in Whiplash. <laughs> Let's bring it home with a tagline. Well, you're in luck. And seen. When you went to get the ready. My vacations are always getting ruined by this. Oh, okay. Well, I've got the fix. I'd like to call it... Make my eye holes happy already. Take a look to butt, huh? That's a humdinger. I'm freaking out. Give me that tagline. Here we go. And that's how it's done, everybody. Oh no. My vacations are always getting ruined by this. Then I've got something for you. I call it. What's it look like? Let me show you. Pretty cool, huh? Does it have a tagline? Let's see it. And scene. <laughs> My vacations are always getting ruined by this. That's going around. But there's a solution. Just call it. Don't keep my eyes waiting. Take a gander. <laughs> Keep that, Toads. All it's missing is a tagline. Ready, Freddy? And seen. <laughs> you got this title. <laughs> oh, here we go. Time for Sarah. My vacations are always getting ruined by this. Well, I've got a plate full of fixing for you. It's simply called... I'm with you. Let's October see it. Third. Take a look. Ooh. I'm now sorry. snap a tagline on it. <laughs> Here it is. And see. AK day. All right, gang. Now it's time to pick your favorites, but let's raise the stakes, shall we? We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. <laughs> Dawdling. Time's almost up. Attention. 
So sad. Mm. Ooh, nice. There you go. Ooh, way to go. Close, but no cigar. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> she only got one vote on That's one sex. It. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you clearly have the gift of invention. Now for some bad news. You might have missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions <laughs> created here today. Make sure you guys drink. Yeah, it was on the back. Sorry. But thanks for making us rich. See ya. Patently stupid. That's what they say. Did Danae want to get in with us? What do you mean you can't? Yeah, and you can Cafe get Olay and a croissant for Pascal. Uh, Cafe Olay and a croissant for Pascal. So, when is this OnlyFans supposed to be happening? Danae. Danae and Jess talking about For the about customer who wanted a locally sourced Brazilian bean, I have a map for you. <laughs> There's going to be you, Ward, Jess, and any of the other girls <laughs> that wanted to join. Lemonade for Tara, small lemonade for Tara. Hey, it's my only fan. <laughs> Caramel latte for the baby who can't handle real coffee? Yes, I'm the baby. Here you go. Have a great day. <laughs> who are we missing here? We have one, two, three, four, five. Who are we missing? Oh, Jasmine. We're missing Jazz. a black with two sugar for careful Jas contents may be again? hot. Is that, uh, Anyone, Jenkins? the name on the cup says careful contents may be hot. Oh, okay. We're just waiting for you. You last one to come in. Oh, Alright, that's everybody. Jasmine Ward, Sarah, Danae, Jessica, Sam, and me. <laughs> you get the little hand. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever drink something with that little of a handle. Actually, no. I think if it's a, if it was like a teacup, then maybe Hello, I can drink it. Hello, welcome to the seminar. Little, um, my name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. And together, we are about to change your lives. That's right, Lena. Believe it or not, I'm looking at seven lucky people who will be bathing in champagne and brushing their teeth with diamonds. Great! So now that, that the doors are securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. 
how are we going to make you rich? Simple, by unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. And as Lena said, the doors aren't securely locked. Kicking them can only injure you. Did you guys brush your teeth with diamonds? Now everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do a little market <laughs> research. On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. And voila, you've created a problem. Now your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. So let's get to it. Complete the prompts. Oh. <laughs> No hurry, but that's half your time. Is Ward still is Ward Let's still alive? On. Time's almost up. Oh, okay. <laughs> now look at your device. You've got somebody else's problems. Been there. Simply pick the one you want to solve. That's half your time. I left my, I left my, my answers I put. Now it's time to solve that problem. That's right. This is the pivotal moment where you bring your designs to life using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. And it never hurts to use a little color. We're halfway there. I wonder Only who got my question. Left to draw. Or questions. You are all naturals. I was just gonna say that. Okay, so now let's bring it all home. Give it a title. And a snazzy tagline. Something that makes people think, hey, I really need that. Let's go.
we're halfway home. Tick tock, time's running out. Who's the other S? Oh, I was like, who's the other S? <laughs> Great, now each of you will present your creation with our amazing presentation tool. Really sell yourself too. This is no time to be shy. Exactly, now let's see those inventions. Please don't make me go first. Ah, Denise first. <laughs> I don't trust chicken. <laughs> you stupid baka. <laughs> I am not a nugget. <laughs> We got this covered. What's up, Toby? Seems like you have a problem. I sure do, Lena. I have no social life because of this. Well, I think I've got just the right solution. It's something I like to call. That sounds like a perfect solution. What's it look like? Glad you asked. Take a look at this. Picasso couldn't have drawn it better himself. But Lena, I'll forget about this in five minutes unless it has an unforgettable tagline. Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. Soon every billboard will read this. <laughs> Perfect. That's the idea. And that's how it's done, everybody. Right. I have a TV in every room, you know. Whether it's, in the, it's on the toilet or in the living room or... <laughs> That is sounds unhealthy though. <laughs> I want to do this, but in a safe I want to manner. Safely jump well, off I've buildings. got just a thing. I'd okay. like to call it. That's it. I mean, yay! Well, take a look, silly. Ah, but I'll be angry if it doesn't have a great tagline. Then take a gander here. And I'm assuming scene. that's like a trampoline. At the bottom. Uh, no I'm going to go skydiving. Oh, hell no. I feel like I don't see enough yes. of this. Like, come on, give it to me. Then I've got the perfect solution. It's mm -hmm. called... Art me up already. Boat well, look at here. That looks great! Bring it home with a tagline! Here we go! And scene! <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go, it's Word. Greece? Mm hmm. I wanna go to Rome, I wanna go to. I'm trying to quit uh, this! Well, I've got the I wanna fix. go to Italy, Rome, France. I'm excited already. Let's see it. Ready? Like anything Norse too, I want to go. I want to go to... I'm tired of faking enthusiasm. Cheese. Show me that tagline. Got the cheese. Ready, Freddy? And scene. Oh, constipation. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell. I'm losing sleep because of this. Well, I've got a solution. Anxiety. Just I feel call ya. it. My prayers have been answered, but Be what's it scary. look like? Take a look, see. Neato! Now let's see that drawing. I mean tagline. Let's Sounds see like it. something you would see in And Paris. that's how it's done, everybody. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't be, don't become the monster. Wait, it says don't be afraid of the monster. I want to be impress the monster. people with this. Well, I've got the solution. Well, it's my called... <laughs> Show me those sweet Please. art skills. Take a look. Mosquito, mosquito. Now stick the landing with a tagline. Here it is. And scene. For your eyes to clean the bookie. <laughs> Great job, everyone. 
Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your <laughs> second largest to your second favorite, and so on. Now, let's make some money. I don't know, they were all really good. We're halfway home. Okay. Make sure you come back fast. Oh, okay. Gotta get some stronger. Not to rush you, but the you clock's a ticket. Great, now let's see which inventions got people excited. You'll need to acquire $1,200 in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a $500 funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Oof. Nice. Well done. Ooh, a swing and a miss. I really thought that one was gonna win, though. Nice. The Baka one, chicken. Good job. Oh, too bad. What? <laughs> Close, but no cigar. <laughs> no one voted for Jesse. So sad. <laughs> That's all. Poor Jess. Okay, for the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of solving different problems, you'll all tackle the same problem. Dun dun dun. We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. And who should choose that final problem? How about you? Simply oh. select the problem you want everyone to solve. Jasmine. You gotta pick the problem. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, you know the drill. Let's draw. Giraffes are too tall. We're at the halfway point. Let's get a move on, folks. Time's almost over. <laughs> there's also, I have other games, too, that we can play besides D6. So there's other six that we can play, too. Okay, let's make those titles and taglines. <laughs> there's, like, murder trivia party and stuff. Fibbage, liar, another one.
that's half your time. Why? Why did you do that? All right, this is your last chance to impress, I so don't you... hold anything back. Oh, it popped open? Are you kidding me? These are too tall, and it hurts my neck to look at them. Well, I've got a plate full of fixings for you. It's simply called... Let's get artsy yeah, artsy. Man. <laughs> Gander. Don't hate me for my... I, I the love community. it. Give me that tagline. Get ready. And scene. Mine was pretty dumb. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. It's the nays. These are too tall, and it hurts my neck to look at them. Then I've got something for you. I call it... Don't keep my eyes Bitch. waiting. <laughs> well, take a look, silly. <laughs> it's perfect. Tagline time. Well, you're in luck. And that's how it's done, everybody. You're blocking the sun. <laughs> uh oh, here we go with Jess. Let's see what Jess has got. These are too tall, and it hurts my neck to look at them. Well, I've got a solution. I like to call it... I'm geeking out. Let's see it. Well, looky here. Look at that. Now, don't screw it up with some lame <laughs> tagline. Here we go. And scene. Want to see giraffes? I think the Discord went quiet. These are too tall, and it hurts my neck to look at them. Well, I've got you covered. I call it. I'm excited already. Let's see it. Let me show you. <laughs> wow, we. I just want this to be over. So show me that tagline. Here that hole had to be real deep. And that's how it's done, everybody. I didn't want her to giraffe. Once again, mine's crap anyway. You guys, I couldn't think of anything for mine either, so. These are too tall, and it hurts my neck to look at them. That's going around, but there's a solution. It's simply called... My prayers have been answered, but what's it look like? Ready? Oh, Take boy. a look. Whoa, now that's a design. Okay, lay that sweet, sweet tagline on me. Ready, Freddy? And scene. These are too tall, and it hurts my neck to look at them. Well, I've got just the thing. Just call it. Show me more. Let me show you. Take that, haters. Now wrap it up with a tagline. Let's see it. And that's how it's done, everybody. <laughs> These are too tall, and it hurts my neck to look at them. Well, I've got the fix. It's called... Make my eye holes happy Stilt. already. Take a gander. You don't oh, get that Stilt. whiplash. Okay. All it needs is a tagline. Get ready. And scene. I can be tall too. Breaking. Now it's time to pick your favorites, but let's raise the stakes, shall we? We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck! So you guys want to do this little game again, or you guys want to take James? Different? Okay. We're halfway there. Let's 
gonna move on. Time's almost up. Nailed it. That's how it's done. Maybe next time. I think the Discord Ooh, a died. Swing and a miss. Oh, too bad. Maybe next time. Sorry, Charlie. That's it. Congratulations. You clearly have the gift of invention. Now for some bad news. Did that you might have die? missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions created here yeah, today. That one, no one's yeah, it was on the back. <laughs> Sorry. But thanks for making us rich. See ya. Patently stupid. That's what they say. So what game you guys want to play now? Or you guys want to see what's in the other party pack? Well, I'm asking all y'all, man. Ask if you guys want to do stay to this or go check out the other games. Dome. Yes, sir. This is like choosing portals. I'll follow and let the luck be on you. <laughs> So we're waiting for Jasmine. No, not Jasmine's. Uh, word and no, just word. Just waiting on word. Okay. So this is from what I saw of the like the little like thing that you watch. It's basically like a co-op game. We all have to work together in defeating bosses, basically. The swirling bleach or nebula, it's the Zebuldo! Now let's hear it for your host, Vargon Otto! Hello, Zebuldo! Welcome, Welcome first, first to the, to the house, house that screams! screams. Holy clutch! Is this your tutorial? First time? We 
know what to do with first timers. With fame and fortune up for grabs, let's do this! Take, Take a look, a look at, at your, your device, device and you'll, and you'll see, our see our patented Google, Google technology. technology. Oh, oh, that that finger of yours around, aim at the target, then let go! go. Fun! There you go! go. Just let go. Once you do the thing, I let go. There you go. Oh god, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mess your shot up. Got it. Same color, color could hurt it now. Oh, so I see blue or pink. Purple. Purple word. Word, you have to hit it, word. Go, word. Ah. You gotta move quicker than that. Oh, yellow. Yellow. Oh, God, I hit it on accident, guys. Nice. Oh, God. So you have to hit it when it's orange. So whoever orange is, they have to hit the boss. So Jasmine, you have to hit the boss. When it's orange. Blue. That's light blue. Oh, well, person blue is... Oh, okay, so... Orange. Jasmine, go! Go, Jasmine, go! Jasmine has to hit it for us to complete it. Nice! Now, let's see how you do it with something that fights back. Kill the humans! Like, like that, that you'll get one, one dead, dead karma. Karma. Oh. 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 Basically, what we have to do is basically whatever color they are, like if it's light blue, Jess has to hit it. If it's purple, it's Ward. If it's pink, it's me. If it's yellow, it's Sarah. If it's orange, it's Danae. It's kind of what we have, what we have to do. Hi. Danae hit the other one. Oh, 
was so close to hitting it. We got one. Oh no, I'm dead! Save me! Save me! Don't let me fly away! <laughs> Thank you. Gotta hit it. Go, Danae. Where, where it hit it?
somebody end this madness. <laughs> we are ending that madness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was ridiculous. So that was definitely a no-go for, for drunken gaming. <laughs> that game was just too much. Join us. There's room for more. But Sarah, JK, Ward, I was suing for him. Join I pro us. I'll probably have to go after this game. Oh, okay. I think that one, two, three, four, five. There's only five people. So. Join us. Ward, Sarah, Jess, Jasmine. I think Danae got off. Join us. Meow. Do not be startled. I am here to guide you as we explore the deepest recesses of your mind. You will build strange and complex worlds using only your imagination and your thumbs. A hypothetical situation missing one key part will be transmitted to your device like this one. Ads before online videos have been banished. In their place are 15 second videos of this. They are not skippable. Is life better? There are infinite possibilities you could write in to complete this scenario. My Discord's not working. Choose wisely though because everybody so else will then answer talk. yes or no and you will earn more points if you split the room. Fitting name, huh? For those of you in the audience, you'll be competing as one player. Your answers will be determined by a majority vote. Yes, even in a nebulous void, democracy is important. At the end of the game, the person who creates the most divisive dimensions will win. Got it? Good. Now let's begin. No, I don't got it. What if we lived in a world where dolphins could talk and everything you touch turned to creme brulee? Someone's been reading my vision board. Now, let's split the room. Finish the scenario that has been sent to your device. This is going to be a very thought-inducing game, I have a feeling. Yo, what's a titty? Roar. Roar. And now, Binge Pipe presents Wealth at a Cost. You're born into a wealthy family. Your inheritance will mean you don't have to work for the rest of your life. But your irrational father is threatening to cut you out of the will if you don't give up this. 
do you comply? <laughs> oh man. The longer split. it takes the room to answer, the more bonus points you get. And now, I before this. <laughs> A curse has been put on you. Anytime you use the word I, you involuntarily do this. You involuntarily From now on, drop. do you only speak in the third person? didn't exactly specify what kind of jump, it just said jump. It could be jumping jacks. Ooh. Super split. <laughs> Brace yourself for artistic compromise. You just sold a screenplay. However, the studio wants to change the title from The Love Hotel to this. Your name will be on the poster. Do you pull out of the contract? I don't think I would. I'd stay in the Definitely stay. Yeah, I definitely would not pull out the contract for that. Up next is Singing in the Rain, indeed. Scientists have found that rain has amazing health benefits. By allowing yourself to be drenched in cold rainwater for 10 minutes at least 10 times a year, you greatly increase your chance of this. Do you start standing in downpours? Now imagine if something like that was real. Like, what if you did stand in downpour for 10 minutes? At least 10 times a year, you can increase your life again. You guys would do it? I love the rain, so I would definitely do Feast it. Feast <laughs> your eyes on. Let me take a peek at you. You're one of a hundred people to test an augmented reality game. You walk around your town and use your phone camera to find cartoon creatures. The game encourages you to take pictures of this. <laughs> High score gets $500. Do you keep playing? <laughs> Yeah, for sure. I'm a boobies guy. I'm still waiting on answers from Word. One split. Here's where everybody stacks up at the moment. It's time to create some more havoc.
Play-Doh or clay. This scenario is called Channel Roulette. Mm. In front of you sits a TV with five channels. Four of them are travel channels. The fifth channel is devoted to this. To Once see. you turn it on, you will be instantly transported to a fully paid weekend vacation to the location that appears on screen. Do you turn it on? <laughs> yes. It's time for Wanted Definitely Alive. On the news, you see a police sketch that looks eerily similar to this person. They're wanted for doing this. You can remain anonymous. <laughs> Do you call the tip line? Word, if you go streaking, I will tape it and record it. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Je Jess would get a question like that. Here's one I like to call Dual Duel. You and your best friend are captured by a primitive tribe and are forced into combat. You will fight each other with wooden clubs. The loser will be punished by this. Strip Do you poker. let your best friend win? Super split. Mm. I didn't know what to pick for that one. I was Get ready torn. for thanks, but no thanks. Every time someone says you're welcome to you, this projects on your forehead. It's in Funny. super HD. Do you ever <laughs> thank someone again? <laughs> He projects on your forehead. This one is called Message in a Container. While walking on the beach, you find a message in a bottle. The letter is addressed to you, and it only includes this short line. Do you try to find this person?
let's see how everyone's doing. We've reached the decisive dimension. Everybody will be presented with a new type of scenario. There will be two options to choose from. Door number one is already provided. You will decide what's behind door number two. Remember, you want to make it as hard of a choice as possible. Oh, and if you correctly predict a certain player's decision, you'll earn some bonus points. Let's begin. Oh god. Write an option that you think only some people would choose. of a major newspaper. Your two star reporters each come in with an amazing story. You can either devote your entire front page to Elvis being found alive or this. Which story do you put on the front page? You just earned some bonus points. Should he miss pro aliens? <laughs> different. Voter ID laws have become very strict. Now when you go to vote you must provide a urine sample or this. Which extra form of ID do you bring to your polling place? Hmm. That'll be a hard one. It's still the same thing, it's still DNA. No dice. It's definitely a blowjob. Sorry, it is. comes down to this. Oh, Sarah. Sarah's been killing it. She's won every game so far. <laughs> but Jess got the most likes.
same game or different? What do you guys want to do? New game or same game? Or I choose. Okay, board. Good night. Psst, join the party. Binge Pipe loves our users so much, we gave you this menu screen. Binge Pipe is a streaming service with all your favorites, such as the reboot of the classic game You Don't Know Jack and... Did we mention You Don't Know Jack? We are definitely real. Before Binge Pipe, there was nothing for me. Now, I see everything. And it's too much. I, I know too much. Why are there so many? Binge Pipe. You want more Binge Pipe programming, tough guy? How about? Oh, Most Sarah, coaches want their it. players to succeed. Not Coach Jones. He's a massive dick. Hey, I'm Nolan. Follow me as I travel the world with only a backpack a plan, and a credit card that never runs out of money. The Trust Fund Traveler. New episodes premiere during your work shift. This is a very interesting wine because if you look at the label, you can see the cause and date of your death. When I joined the religion, I was really hoping it was a cult, but later I figured out it was all on the up and up. Binge Pipe is pleased to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. The Earth is flat. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and just like this game, I've been aged to perfection. Every day I count my lucky stars, you all exist.
All right, here we go. Time for question one. To get things started, when I mentioned the anaconda, it was not a euphemism. How long was the longest snake ever discovered? Three Nicki Minajes, four and a half Nicki Minajes, half a dozen Nicki Minajes, or six Nicki Minajes, and two Sir mix a -Lots. So what'd you pick? That's just over 25 feet. That's long and strong, but not enough to get the friction on. <laughs> Hopefully your yeah, score is a me, grower, like, not a shower. Like, yeah, it Nicki Minaj it is 5'2", and guys. Sir Mix-a-Lot is 5'11". Six of the former and two of I'm the latter would be Discord just under 43 feet, the length of the largest snake fossil ever discovered. This titan boa grew larger than the anaconda because it was less picky. It would gladly accept some whether you had buns or not. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Try this on for size. First, I'd like to spank the Academy. Which movie won an Oscar for Best Picture in 2006? A film with the same name as a group of crows, a film with the same name as a group of rhinos, a film with the same name as a group of bees, or a film with the same name as a group of sheep? I love this part. Here's what you meant to pick. A group of rhinos is called a crash, and the Paul Haggis film Crash won Best Picture in 2006. Brokeback Mountain should have won. It's taken 12 years of therapy for me to get to a point where I can say that plainly and without anger, but Brokeback Mountain should have won. Okay, I've said it. It's, it's done. Why don't we do it? Next up, Black Windshield. But don't trust your smartphone because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven titles, and for each one, you tell me if it's an episode of Black Mirror, you know, the depressing sci-fi anthology show about the internet, or an old driver's education film. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between Black Mirror or Driver's Ed, and you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Here it comes. Options to live. Be right back. Nosedive. Safety or slaughter. Last date. Metalhead. Anatomy of an accident. Well, that was mostly miserable, but you all, you couldn't have done much worse. Proactive measures have been enacted for customer fidelity. Oh, that means it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. At Binge Pipe, we just want you to be reasonably happy. And now, the verb's the word. Which of these sentences contains a transitive verb? I don't care. Seriously, who cares? Do you think this is funny? Or because it's not? Let's see who got it. A transitive verb has a subject before it and an object after it. You and this, for example. 
You is the subject of the sentence while you are the subject of a police investigation. This one's called, how's your Wi-Fi? Getting a good signal, I hope? Oh, also, what does Wi-Fi stand for? Wireless fidelity, wireless field, wireless firmware, or nothing. Hope you like what you picked. Wi-Fi is just a catchy name that is not short for anything. The wireless industry needed something to call it, something better than its original name, IEEE 802.11. <laughs> and now you know why. Phi. That's the end of round one. The Vegas bookmakers need to see the current scores. Currently, player two is in the lead. Player one, on the other hand, you're doing the bad thing. Your performance has triggered the need for another screw. Round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So do not be afraid to use that thing. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. I am feeling joy. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. It's time for Dan Brown's Got Renaissance Men in Different Area Codes. Based on international phone numbers, if Leonardo da Vinci had a cell phone, what would be da Vinci's code? 39, 44, 101, or 3? Okay, who chose what? If you ever replay this question, don't pick that one. You know what? Nobody got it. Let's just cut to the chase. Leonardo da Vinci lived in Italy, which has the country code of plus 39. So to call da Vinci, you'd need to dial plus 39, then his number. Now, da Vinci's pin number, that'd be something I'd like to crack. J'ai mangé tous les oeufs. Sept. This one's known as a community of people together. Hmm, yeah, okay, guess it's uh, one of those questions. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you enjoyed the characters of Viserion, Elliot, and Smaug, we recommend music by the band Vampire Weekend, Kings of Leon. 21 Pilots, or Imagine Dragons. And how do we do? Viserion is one of Khaleesi's dragons. Elliot is Pete's dragon, and Smaug is his own dragon. <laughs> And despite what it says in my very outdated textbook, they are all imaginary. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Introducing, will someone think of the mollusks? And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a Get those typing fingers ready, because the longer you take, the less money you make. Okay, head in the game. Check out this gibberish phrase, and let me know what popular saying it rhymes with. Won't feta bread slugs fight? And pay no attention to that punctuation. Please rest easy. Avoiding the pests. Stop insects.
sex from consuming you while you sleep. Okay, pencils down. Player two. No. Wrong. Bad. <laughs> Here's what I was thinking of. Now let's keep going. Na, 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 na. Next. Remember Third Rock from the Sun? Suppose NBC rebooted Third Rock, but set it on Jupiter instead of Earth. What would be the most appropriate name for the new show? Sixth Rock from the Sun, First Gas Giant from the Sun, Fourth Inner Planet from the Sun, or Last Multi-Mooned Planet from the Sun? Okay, let's take a look. Jupiter is the gas giant closest to our sun. I'll bet gas giant and our sun are phrases often spoken by French Stewart's parents. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, all the questions can't be about memes. Let's try not privates in your area. What's the highest star rating a United States general can receive on Yelp? A three-star, four-star general, a four-star, four-star general, a five-star, four-star general, or a six-star, four-star general? Let's see how that shook out. Yelp reviews go as high as five stars. Now go back to Yelp to find a five-star General Tso's chicken. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Weapon of choice. When you see a weapon on screen, pick the person or character famous for wielding.
3 takes it. Congratulations, Player 3. I'm glad the underdog won. You did know you were the underdog, right? You don't know Jack! Welcome back to Right or Wag, the only game show where the contestants are dogs. For $500, who is a good boy? Bixby. Correct. Okay, once again, that bell is making our contestants think someone's at the door, so we'll take a short break. All right, down, down. Truffles and tea cakes, teacles and truff truffs, they are equivalent treats. If you asked me to choose, I'd say, oh, that's a muse, because they are precisely equal to me. Binge Pipe is more...